started by speaking of 10 centuries of history. But there is a balance to be struck between looking back at what has happened and cannot be changed, and looking forward to what could happen if we have the will and determination to shape it. My visit to Ireland and your visit this week, Mr. President, show that we are walking together towards a brighter, more settled future. Mr. President, Prince Philip and I are delighted to welcome you and Madame Pang to Buckingham Palace this evening. Your visit to the United Kingdom marks a milestone in this unprecedented year of cooperation and friendship between the United Kingdom and China as we celebrate the ties between our two countries and prepare to take them to ambitious new heights. When people face a challenge, they sometimes talk about taking a deep breath to find courage or strength. In fact, the word inspire literally means to breathe in. But even with the inspiration of others, it's understandable that we sometimes think the world's problems are so big that we can do little to help. On our own, we cannot end wars or wipe out injustice. But the cumulative impact of thousands of small acts of goodness can be bigger than we imagine. This is a duty I'm especially happy to discharge, as the impact of the environment on human progress was a subject close to the heart of my dear late husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. 